These are my top 10 most underrated players in FC 24. This should be a goodie. Let's get to the business. It's my list. We have a comment section. If anything, we're giving out complimentary attachment. My three main categories, ability, value, frequency of usage. They're in action and by definition, underrated, not rated or valued highly enough short and sweet i'm not gonna hold you it is free to subscribe and it's time for the honorable mentions cluster thanos i like the 87 the thunderstruck's not costing you much Thirty thousand coins you got yourself some bundesliga german deliberate intentional center back goodness consistent reliable angry composed all the good additions i like them a lot he spent plenty of time in the club and he's done the business time and time again julie the Frenchman, not in enough rotations. I hate going up against him. I like him when he's in my squad, less than 100K. I bring up the tallies, the finances, not because it's the only derivative, but I think it's important that you know you're not spending an arm and a leg. You got rotationals and not everyone has them in every single squad, yet he does the business at the highest level. Last of the honorable mentions, we have Kessler. Apparently there is a bit of a German collaborative effort four star skills four star weak foot i don't see her being used enough this should be a constant rotational you've got yourself an option that's more than competitive at 200k in the middies in some ways and maybe we'll do a little bit of a compare and contrast with a german partnership but lothar kessler she might not be as physical but she's more nimble and she's better offensively can play as an attacking option or even a center mid in a box-to-box -box game plan or structured approach and at the end of the day you're getting a 90 overall that could have been in your rotation or your ecosystem on a regular basis and you didn't have to pay an arm and a leg at number 10 i have two names i might be cheating i'm not sure there's definitely talks around the youtube sphere the community knows about both malin and felipe anderson in terms of evo upgrades but i still feel from a price point equation if you're going to get involved in evolutions they're both interesting and i would put them more towards underrated or undervalued as opposed to being overpowered or broken as it stands your 82 can evolve on multiple occasions all the way up to an 89 overall with 95 pace 89 shooting 93 dribbling and a five star weak foot five star skill moves i like what i'm seeing felipe anderson not much different 81 overall all the way up to an 88 either way i'm throwing them in at number 10 as a as a grouping that's what i've done i'm looking at players that are actually getting into lineups this video is not to find the guy that's a discard price point that maybe you could include off the bench or as some sort of super sub reserve at number nine we have john barnes is there a bias i guess that's what a list is all about the combination of pace physicality and key play styles it works and you didn't anticipate it that is not a pun on words around play styles six foot tall high medium work rate four star skills four star weak foot you see the green the pace that i'm talking about 87 stamina 84 strength a bigger body type but somehow it evens out when you get into his play styles finesse incisive pass play style plus and technical which is why i would prefer the 87 to the 89 if you had a question between the two and i believe the 89 is cheaper and it's for that reason we have a play style adjustment you need that technical just for the movement quick step that helps travella that helps this is all what you're looking for as an attacker if you have not given barnes a chance he is still more than usable as it stands he's done enough for the club where i feel obligated to include him into an underrated or undervalued list i should mention as a disclaimer there are so many choices everyone's rotationals are a little bit different in your preference points i could have made this into a top 25 or even a top 50 might have been pushing it for a top 50 but i, I definitely could have got a top 25 easy number eight lauren hemp and I, i'd like to think that there's some notoriety i don't know if i'd go as far as saying hype but hemp is phenomenal do not get scared off by a weak foot explosive first touch goal scoring nature not nurture dangerous absolute threat the player data might not match up you got the skills you have high high work rates 
which if anything out wide, you could make an argument. You might not love that. The dribbling in the 90s and everything is well over a 90 outside of composure, but I don't believe in that stat with her because I think she falls into her own game plan. If you've used hemp and I put into motion both her 86 and the 90 overall, dumb nice. That crossing at a 96, absolutely. 94 stamina, never tired, has the finesse shot, has the tiki taka, has a play style plus for whipped pass. See where I'm going. Three in the ball control, first touch flare and rapid. Give her a Travella and quick step. Why not? Genuinely relentless. She will terrorize you down the wings. Give her an opportunity. At number seven, I have Shuker. Might be a surprise. I think I'm happy. I'm internalizing that Shuker is finally back to being resourceful, usable, has a resurgence or a feel of being iconic. It's been years since I could properly use Shuker in a team. All the icons should be playable, my opinion. I've been playing him out wide, sometimes centrally, even up front. He's not built with a bunch of play styles, but he does have both the Travella and the Quick Step for a play style plus. And I find that his passing is actually better than an 81, partially due to the curvature. 89 curve, it'll help you out. The natural left footer down that wing, or even on the left side of the pitch. You can see what I'm setting up. Two weekend leagues, 40 games, 26 goals, 13 assists, primarily played out wide. He's got good stamina, doesn't get tired. You can count on him for a full 90. At number six, we have the Bulgarian, Stoichkov. I've gone with both variations. You want the 89, you want the 90. It just depends if you want to spend 270K or upwards of 320, 325. Every single year, I do not see this player appreciated, saluted. There's not enough praise and affirmation for his deliverables on the virtual pitch. It's a Bulgarian gangster. I don't know what that means exactly, but he's nice with the baggager, which means he's a bag connoisseur. He's got a lot in his bag. If anything, that's more of a basketball reference. No counterfeits. This is not Chinatown. I was going to say we're not in New York City, but technically I am in New York City. When Stoichkov was 16 years old. The man had already scored 14 goals in professional play. He's no ordinary individual. It's the trifecta of a 90 plus in pace, shooting and dribbling. Even his passing, underrated. This is by definition, a player that is perfect for this category. Not that expensive, not brought into that many conversations. What's not to like? The pace is legit. Every single shooting statistic is over a 90 individually. The dribbling authentic. And he's more physical than half of the UFC. I might have added that piece in. And no one talks about his play style plus in technical. The guy is ducking. He's weaving through defenses. Could have been a professional boxer. At number five, I have Musiala. And I've chosen to go with the Centurions because he's the best value for what you're paying and what you're receiving. 170, 175,000 coins. Some of you might bring up a counter argument that you're well aware of Musiala. How can he be undervalued or underrated? Since the game was released, we had his initial gold item. And then in my mind, I believe he's been a little more forgotten. He's got the five-star skills. Whether you love it or hate it, he is one of the best dribblers in the game. And I'm talking that broken dribbling, that R1. Slice, dice, you know what's coming. You can't stop it. We know the technical plus well. Player, first touch, trickster. He's giving you all sorts of expression. And because he's so pacey, he can be a true center attacking mid. He can play out wide and he can still be a box to box. The guy's juiced. At number four, we have the likes of Dybala, who has provided serious talent at a fraction of the cost. 89 overall with 50,000 coins, give or take as an SBC evaluation. This was a piece of cake if we're looking at completion. I struggle with anyone who says they were not satisfied with Dybala. They didn't feel as if they got a proper return of investment. This is almost like getting a secondary option for that Messi-esque feel. Explosive with play styles, underpaid, but over delivers. First touch, dribbling, facilitation, shot taking capability, outside of the boot, open up for a finesse. You got highlight material. At number three, Alex Morgan. I have an American biased. I think she's one of our most prolific strikers of all time. The stats and the metrics would support that as well. Over 120 goals for country. And in game, virtually not being put 
into motion nearly enough. She will deceptively and confidently work her way around any center back partnership. Five foot six, high medium work rates, four star skills, five star weak foot. She's one of the greats. I think back US women's national team. Abby Wallenbach was a beast. Non-stop score. Mia Hamm, simply the best. Harley Lloyd, Christine Lilly, living legends. Next in line, at least if we're talking goals, Alex Morgan is there. Don't get discouraged off the balance. That stat is not real. Even the pace, acceleration, sprint speed, maybe it doesn't make sense, but I've never felt so confident being able to move, groove, on beat, plenty of rhythm. I'm scoring goals. Finesse shot for a play style plus. Maybe the triple allotment in the ball control sector gives the dribbling even an extra boost. I notice it. Had number two, and I can see the comments now. I have Bomb Pass Store. And some of you are typing away. She's not underrated or undervalued. Really? I would argue she's one of the best left backs in the game. As it currently stands, cost you 180,000 coins. And until recently, let's be all the way honest, I don't think you knew who she was. You didn't see the rotation. You hadn't incorporated. She wasn't getting PT. No playing time. Well, times have shifted. And as a major supporter, I'm not leaving her out the list. She's done so much for the club. Look at this stat line. Left back left wing back a winger i've played her as a center mid a holding mid everything is the real deal breaks up plays and then is able to take that energy and momentum and score a goal or facilitate or find gaps of space take on a defender dribbling responsive track back optional she's rather attacking never tired and can tuck away both a travella and a finesse shot she gives you all the options Comes with an assortment of play styles. Seven to be exact. Dead ball doesn't mean a lot to me. Whip pass, huge for your wingers. Incisive, uh-huh. Anticipate, I like it. Press proven, that'll do. Quick step, mm-hmm. And relentless for a play style plus. Did I mention she never gets tired? Come on, Bomb Pass Store. For under 200,000 coins, safely. And that price might even be dropping. You have a completist and her versatility chef's kiss at number one and if you've watched me play at all this year it will not be a surprise we have the likes of super mario balotelli i don't know where to begin i hope there's highlights being included as i'm talking over what balotelli's done for the organization six foot three high low work rates five star skills 99 dribbling and oh my goodness he is a walking ball is life Highlight tape, 46 games played, 61 goals, 14 assists. We aren't passing. I could read through stats, but I'm not sure it matters at the end of the day. He overperforms, outperforms, definition of overpowered, underrated. I don't think I'm going to go as far as hardworking, but talent, it's there. And he's got a Santa hat on for the dynamic image. How can you not like that? How can you not support it? And if you're nice with the skills, I'm not always going to pat myself on the back. A trickster play style plus. Ooh. Some of those executions are oh so crispy. And if you want the full tutorials, the tips, all the goodness that comes with understanding the intangibles, the maneuverability, and of course the skill move expression, the second channel, the playbook, I would highly appreciate you check that out. That's where all the tutorials, all the tips have gone to that channel. Dedicated. Balotelli is my number one choice. If you completed the SBC and you understand dribbling mechanics, quick movements, and skill moves in general, I cannot see how you do not have a favorable opinion of this individual. With that being said, the comment section better not let me down. Maybe we will do a part two if we get enough names that I feel like cannot be left out, cannot be missed upon. And I'm screenshotting, I'm selecting, I'm highlighting, and I'm resurfacing those same comments in the next video. I appreciate you. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.